video part two is here. And so this is an extension from your last video. The last video talked about Friday. It's just the Friday reading. We get into more expansive views in the second one. It's called, what do they want from you? And this is a request. So I was really shocked because many of you are so vocal on the channel. Now you are coming up with great ideas for videos, something that I, I don't think I would have been able to come up with on my own running Libra light. So it's like, um, it's beautiful that I'm seeing more of what you guys want for a Friday and like your requests are getting a little bit more personalized, which I do enjoy. Uh, I already pre-shuffled, but I am going to do splits on camera for Friday. I'm a little scared. Oh Lord. Three of wands. As you can see, different place in the deck and the page of swords to the nine of pentacles. There is somebody looking in on you. I can say that with confidence. From the three of wands over here in purple, we reveal that there's a page of swords looking at a nine of pentacles person. Now, you don't have to be nine of pentacles, but if you do reside with this card in your spirit and technically like you see yourself as Virgo energy of the nine of pentacles, it is a Virgo uh, placement card. Virgos, if, if you look at actually the earth element, is that they're very independent and they're very practical. That's how they view life. That's their 3D world. So you're a Libra. If you're watching this video, you're coming off as that statement. It's I'm practical. I'm also drawing in my own wealth. It is a wealth card also. And I did a lot of research on the Nine of Pentacles, which brought in adjectives yesterday. So if you're like a deep thinker like me and I like I really peel apart all of the cards to the point where they're almost naked. Um, Nine of Pentacles talks about somebody who is structurally making their life independent day by day. Every day there's improvements. This person is always finding something. There is always an economical and a practical way of going about it. And they do solve it. So Nine of Pentacles is how they view you. I am going to put the page of swords here without flipping because that is an indicator when you split the deck of the emotions okay so we're going to begin what do they want from you with a pre-shuffled light seers and there it is um what do they want from our libra six of wands they want to be recognized this is a recognition card when it talks about a solo and individual person what they want from you is leo energy so this person wants to be they want you to acknowledge them. That's what it's saying is they want to be recognized by you. We take it from the point of the page of sorts. So with organization here, I've always been a question asker since the beginning of the channel. Even when I would do personals for family members, I'd always begin with indicator cards. That way you have a direction and point of scale for the reading. Wheel of Fortune is a card definitely of today's energy. It's also Eclipse. It's also fixed signs, which is Aquarius, Leo, Taurus, and Scorpio. Those particular people could be very touched by you at this time. Any fixed sign that you have relationships to, they could be seeing your point of view finally. Um, for instance, I have an Aquarian brother. We had a heart-to-heart -heart yesterday, and he's a fixed sign. So those are people that would be completely trying to see your vision, or they would have more compassion for you at this time. That That's just the transit. I do have to study why it is that way in the future. I, I have to look into it. But so far, I'm finding that if you have relationships with these people, even a Leo, because they're also fixed sign energy, somebody wants you to see them. And I think they want your attention because this is an attention and it's a star card. So this is our very first indicator of what do they want. Very first card. I'm going to put it over by you. Now we have the Wheel of Fortune, so we have to clarify what is turning for the Libra. This person could be supposing that it is also turning for you, okay, as well as them going through ch -ch -ch changes. Uh, what is that Wheel of Fortune, please? Could I get indicators? Ten of Cups that you're going through happier times, yeah, <laughs> yes, we have the Ten of Cups here to show that you are evolving and changing. Your fulfillment could look different these next couple of years. It might not be exactly what you wanted, but it's coming in a different package in bow, okay? I would journal about that today personally. If I had a diary, I would talk about that in my journal. Page of Pentacles uh, offers perhaps are coming toward you and this person recognizes it. Um, 
what's coming through here is they view you in a happier time. They also view that you have a fresh viewpoint with the page of pentacles that you might be experiencing life on a whole new level. They might not have information about that. So what they want is probably to see uh, this fulfilled in your life in some way. Maybe they're looking for clues about that. Let's get to the bottom of a little bit more here. We got the lovers. Lovers was yesterday, so I'm a little bit behind in the romance readings. I know I'm picking up a little bit of yesterday's energy. And we have the Empress on the other hand. I'm going to do this really, really slow. Got the Empress here. They could be viewing you as a love partner. This person could be an admirer. Or you could even have a past person looking at you still in the Lovers card, which is a soulmate. Somebody understands that you're way more important that your relevance, the importance of you in their life is this aha moment that you see here on my second splitter. It's a spiritual split <laughs> is what I call it. The spiritual split. The lover's card, which is happening here in red, is that type of recognition. I think somebody wants to be seen by you. I think somebody wants to be recognized. These are the two feelings that I have so far. This part two is going to get really interesting because I feel like we're going to get to the cream of the crop here in just a few seconds. I feel like something is going to come through. We have the Empress there, Queen of Swords, Libra Libra to the Hierophant. Hierophant is about committing to you. It's also about marriage standards. It talks about the highest point of spirituality and it talks about learning. So a lot of you could be learning about new pathways to spirituality. Maybe it's not one thing anymore. And that's pretty cool because it opens up a big Pandora's box once you kind of go through that and that rabbit hole is what we call it. What's interesting about this is I think that the communication and the downloads are coming from this exact space. So I'm going to flash it again and I hopefully they won't fall apart. But I think that Libra energy connecting you to the eclipse is bringing you into a new form of ascension and possibly like learning a new way to view your spirituality too. Maybe it's helping you in the 3D make decisions. So it's actually merging with another part of your life. I think that that's what's useful is your synchronicities are now repetitive to the point where you can actually spot these cards even before they happen or spread us, if that makes sense. So it's kind of helping you future see. Um, it's also a bit of premonition is what I get. Uh, and a lot of you will understand that because it's what's happening now. Does that make sense? It's it's kind of what you journal about already. And it's part of the sign synchronicities and numbers that are reforming in your life. I get different angel numbers each year when there's an ascension. It's not the same thing that I got a year ago. So that, that's also how you're going to know. Page of Pentacles, what's that offer coming in on a Friday? What's the current? We do have the, we have a lot. I'm just going to turn them over because I can't see them. Something's purple here. King of Pentacles, Ace of Swords. The new cards, oh, and I forgot the strength card. Four, one, two, three, four. We have King of Pentacles, the Ace of Swords, the Three of Cups, which is the Lavender card that you saw there, and the Strength card. So to run down the signs, it's Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We have a Cancer, we have a Leo connected to the story, and we also have a Libra in the Ace of Swords. We have an Air sign. They could be Gemini and Aquarius as well. I know a lot of you have written me and said it's a lot of air signs now that are coming back. So I took acknowledgement actually into that. What they want is to have the courage to tell you their feelings. And this is, um, this is a big point of reference lately in the readings because perhaps you know that it takes courage for them. You understand that for them to tell you their full truth. It's, uh, it's about coming to you and mustering up that courage. Many of them can't decide because they're in limbo or they have a crossroads themselves. So that's where the sympathy must be, is with this person's crossroads. And I think that's actually what it is. We have the High Priestess, the Death Card, Justice, the Ace of Pentacles again, and the Seven of Swords. Wow. Okay, hold on, hold on next to the empress which is interesting because i think the seven of swords person is watching their empress it's about growth it's also about stability it's also of this person's well-being too is what i pick up because they're looking at the empress for a, a particular vibe like there's an information here i think also that this person learns 
from the Empress, which is going on in the last few moments of the reading. I'm going to coverage that right here. Like I'm going to look at this soulmate response because I think the Seven of Swords person is already connected to you. On some level, you know about it. You feel it and there's also indicators in your day that this is going on. Pisces is very intuition filled. So even if you don't have Pisces in your chart, I don't have it a lot. I only have it in three places and then it disappears. <laughs> so I think that um, what's interesting about this combination is Seven of Swords is looking to you for your knowledge. This is a knowledge card, the Empress's beauty. I'm going to leave it like that. Uh, transmuting energies with the Magician and the Ace of Cups. So they do have love for you. What they want is a reunion, third card of what do they truly want. This person wants to see you in the physical. It can be, I'm going to get really detailed here because many of you said, could you state examples? A lot of this is meeting with you in person. It's food and drink. It's also about inviting you out. If you feel like invitations are coming, but you don't know from whom yet, you're going to be seeing that soon. So don't panic or, you know, don't say, I haven't experienced the three of cups yet. The readings are only 50% predictive. The other 50% is your free will. Okay, so if you look at it from that viewpoint, which is, that's re realistic, is that the Three of Cups can come from family and friends. It's not necessarily all the time romantic. Okay, and even then you can overjoy in that type of way. Three of Cups for me is just a good time. It's people you need to see and it's required of your presence. And it's it's people also that need you and have been requesting you for some time. So Three of Cups is coming in the near future. The truth will shine through. The eclipse is really big for Libras because this is our time to find the truth out. Other signs have already experienced their awakening and aha moment. Not only is the eclipse in our sign, but it's also ruling our seventh house, which I've been talking about the last few days. You find the truth in that relationship house. Something becomes super clear to you. And it's also about a need that you've been craving. So the Ace of Swords comes in as uh, very, very practical. As you can see, there's equations all around this person's head. I don't know if it's showing. It says E equals MC squared. Um, another one says one over the square of two. So there's a lot of mathematical equations. You are solving something on your own with the Ace of Swords. And we also have a stable King of Pentacles. I want to clarify this real quick. We will go to the Seven of Swords next. Who is the King of Pentacles, please, in this reading? A very stable figure, somebody who's honest and it's described as a loyalist in tarot to who is the King of Pentacles person. Somebody who recently took a pause for their own reflection. That's how you're going to know, too. They could be Pisces in their nature or they've had an aha moment as well. This is a perspective change. So if somebody has a difference of opinion either on you on their own life or they're going through a massive shift as well. This person has recently taken a pause and the King of Pentacles is in the Five of Pentacles, which is a scarce mindset. They could be feeling left out from you at this time or they've had no communication. The bottom of the deck for the King of Pentacles, a tower of realization, eight of wands, you eventually hear from them and the Hierophant, they are looking for commitment too. And how you're going to know is this person is going to completely match you. They're going to match your ass. <laughs> and that's what they're going to... I think they're the Page of Swords. I think this King of Pentacles persona is the Page of Swords that you saw at the beginning of the reading. They are the yellow card with light bulbs. I think things are going off. There's a synapse that's going off in this person to connect with you. The universe is saying to connect further with you for this person. Final statement. I think that's what it is. And then we have the King of Wands over here. Let me know too in your personal stories how that checks out. Because as I energy read, I also get a lot of cues from you guys in the comments. And that's super important. It's actually more important than you think. And the King of Wands at the very end of this is also them. I think they're both kings in this sense. Why do they want the, the Three of Cups? And let's do the Six of Wands. What is the... Okay, this person's heartbroken. They might miss you. They might want to make a return. This person also feels further connected to you. It might be breaking their heart. They could be a Libra because it's a Libra card. They don't have to be though. They could be any sign. 
Three of Cups is Cancer. Uh, Scorpio is Aries and Scorpio. I'm sorry, Tower is Aries and Scorpio. The King of Wands is all fire signs. So basically everybody's on deck for today. It just depends what these uh, pronounced signals represent to you. Okay, that's, that's the point of resonation is how does it resonate with you? If the reading does not resonate, this was not for you. Okay, so something's got to click here. There has to be some type of click. Um, and also, I think that the truth that you learn is somebody else's feelings, is somebody else's true response to you. Uh, it's not so much of you always telling how you feel. I think this person will protrude forward and visualize the Three of Cups with you, especially too if it's a soul connection or it's somebody from the past with the Six of Cups, which a lot of past is coming up here. Six of Cups, Six of Pentacles. Can I, uh, may I see this please, highest angels? Who is this person in the cups? The four of wandies. I'm going to get another one because that's just generally seeing you more. The four of wands continued. The three. Okay, so it's clarified by a fire sign, essentially. There's a lot of fire here. They do want to be reciprocal. It can be a person that is wishing to meet with you because the three of wands is creating expansion or wanting to head your way or they already see it happening and the four of wands is gathering with you some of you might be invited to something very public like a concert or a show uh, this person might be celebrating a birthday as well or there could be a need to see you in the physical period which if you just look at the cards it is about meeting with you again and thank you guys for the big part too uh, if it resonated, I'd love to see how it connected with you today. Remember, if you take away anything from this reading, there is a, a moment where this person realized how important it is to be around you or to receive you as a person because they want physical contact. Um, it's very, very physical from the three to the four of wands. And I do want to thank you for your time. This one went on too long. Let me know of resonation today. And I will see you guys for the future Friday readings, which will be an eclipse and a twin flame today.